Welcome to Max Out with Mason. So let's get this started. First ever podcast, first ever video, depending on where you're watching it. It could be on YouTube, could be on Spotify, could be on Breaker, whatever platform you're on, Apple Podcasts. It's me. I'm Mason. So let's get started right away. I have my notes here. Um, so yeah, who am I? I'm a 17 year old, well 16, but I'll be 17 in a few days. I'm chasing self mastery. I've been doing this for about four years and it all started when I started to listen to Gary V back in eighth grade. What I did is I would listen to these Gary V videos and I would apply them to my life. I had all these little YouTube channels, even when I was 10 years old, what I would do is I would have like four YouTube channels all monetized. Maybe I made like 50 cents, but I I had all these YouTube channels set up, monetized. I've had multiple blogs, um, but none of them I've really ever fully committed to. So my goal with this is to be my long-term commitment. I've put in lots of thoughts over these four years to finding out what I'm truly passionate about, what my, you could say, life purpose is. And through all this thinking, I've finally came to this conclusion that I'm starting this podcast, Max Out with Mason. And Max Out is a pretty good name, in my opinion. So, I got interrupted there. Mom walked in. Um, but yeah, where were we? Four years ago, started listening to Gary Vee, obviously. And then about two years after that, what I did was I meditated for the first time. And... I, uh, what I did was some guided meditation. I did a 30 day meditation challenge from Jay Bittersweet on YouTube. And what this did was it spiraled me into this new age spirituality, right? So what that is, is like, you know, the, you create your own reality. Everything is vibration, um, good energy, bad energy, all that type of stuff. I learned a lot of lessons from that phase of life. But my interest in philosophy, um, I kind of detangled a lot of this stuff and, you know, kind of confined it into my own life philosophy and moved on from the from the delusions that I had. And now I'm here. So, yep. Two philosophies that I really like are stoicism really helped me remove all my delusions and see life for what it is and not what I thought it was Um, really refined a lot of my thinking and help me truly get past my mental barriers for the most part. Um, A lot of my new age spirituality, what I was doing is I was hiding. I was hiding from all these issues. And what Stoicism taught me was how to actually deal with them. So yeah. And also self-actualization. I don't know if you ever heard, but there's a channel on YouTube called Actualize.org. Big inspiration to me. A lot of people critique him, say he's a cult. I disagree. He specifically says, do not turn my videos into ideology. He specifically says everything like, don't believe me. He's he's even said that before. He says, don't believe me. Apply this to your life and see if it works or not, which is what I like. And self-actualization has really helped me. It's just like maxing out your potential and just trying to go up the ladder of needs, going from like, regular basic needs food water shelter and up to social needs so talking to people having a relationship anything like that and then going up from there is the self-actualization needs which is like your career your self-mastery and everything like that but we can get into that some other time so what do i see in this podcast i see a place to share wisdom along my journey Obviously, I'm on my journey, I'm on my path, and everyone else is as well. So I hope this is a good place to sit and reflect and maybe find another perspective for your own journey and apply some of my findings or my wisdom to your life, which I think would be helpful. I see a community of like-minded individuals who can help and support each other. So let's say on this YouTube account if you're watching on YouTube. In the comments, everyone's out sharing their thoughts, sharing what they agreed with, what they disagreed with. Um, People share what they're struggling with, and then we can have everyone give their advice, everyone give their whatever the person needs, really. 
and I see a community where we can all work together, which is very good. Um, I see a conversation. This is very important. I see a conversation between my words and your thoughts. This is very important because I don't want you to just blindly believe everything that I say and blindly accept everything. I want this to be a you arguing back and forth. I want this to be the listener engaged with what I'm saying, which is very important. I see this podcast as a starting point to an even bigger vision and a bigger picture. I see a place, an empire of self-driven and self-mastering individuals. I see a community of people who have a strong desire to max out their potential. If we can cultivate this and create this, we can move society forward, which is my ultimate goal. I see a place for students of life to study, sort of like a sage school. Anyone new, any student, anyone who wants to learn, I want them to be able to look back at the years of content that I've produced and I want them to be able to see and learn from what worked and what didn't. I want them to be able to look at what I did and what I said and learn from that and apply it to their life and grow from there. So. I'm going to end this with a disclaimer. This is a short, short episode. I just wanted to introduce myself, but I'll give this disclaimer and a little, little, like, wraparound of this little philosophy I got going here. So, there is no limit to your potential. So, why call it max out with Mason? If you can't max out, why would I call it max out, right? There is no max except for the limits that you put on yourself, right? So, Think of my philosophy as a recipe for constant growth. Think of my philosophy as breaking barriers. If there is no max in life, then you need to chase breaking the maxes. You need to move past your limits. And then you can truly max out not your life, but your potential, which is important. That's about it. There's invisible walls, and you got to break them. But that's it. Peace.